Yo, what's up guys, welcome back to another video. So in today's video, I'm on Lumber Tycoon 2 and I know I've been gone for a while. I think it's been more than a week. And uh, yeah, I wanna apologize for that. I've just been really inactive, um, a bit busy and a bit lazy at the same time. But we're back and hopefully for the long run, I'll be hopefully daily uploading from now on. We'll see. But yeah, pretty much today I will be checking out the build mode in Bark GUI. So build mode is a very unique feature. The first GUI to release it is Bark GUI and huge shout out to Applebee for creating it and everything like that. But I need to also give credits to Alex. Alex is the one who thought of the idea of build mode and he shared it with Applebee and Applebee created it. And uh, yeah, there's no problems with that at all. Nothing like that. No bad blood or anything like that. And speaking of, as you v2 is currently in development for build mode as well so yeah lumber tycoon 2 for azure is almost complete version 2 by the way the free version is still out you guys can still use that until v2 is out obviously but yeah enough about azure it's not about azure today it's about bark and uh, yeah let me show you guys how to get the screw so yeah most of you guys are already in bark gui's discord server if you are not then obviously you can get the script through watching these steps obviously so what you want to do is come over to getexplos.com uh, you guys can search it or there will be a link to it in the description down below and then go onto the search and type in bark simply enter that in and then the gui should show up press on it and then you get a little description of it the rating i've done tons of reviews on bark and everything like that and i've not done an updated video on bark and what happened to blood by the way did blood die down or something i've not heard of blood in ages but anyway all you need to do is press get script and you might get pop-up ads in this site guys don't worry about it close it off straight away but yeah anyway the script it will be in their discord server so join their discord server it won't give you a straight download or script download straight to your computer just because bark gui updates their load string and stuff like that and it's just so much easier to get it straight from their discord server all right after that all you need to do obviously is copy the script from their discord server paste in the executor i will be using sentinel and you guys can purchase sentinel link will be in the description and boom this is what it will look like and um can we resize yes we can all right perfect so what we are going to check out is build mode like i said so let's just go into bases it should be in bases there we go enter build mode so we're going to try this out see how it is this is my first time trying it out by the way guys i've not tried it out i've got i've not got no experience so we'll learn as we go and hopefully i do a good job in this video all right there we go i've loaded in and uh, pretty much what i'm going to do is press enter build mode and uh, whoa this is cool that reminds me of blocksburg it's pretty much based on blocksburg i'm pretty sure the grid's pretty nice okay okay not bad can we move okay we have to use the mouse to move i'm pretty sure zooming in works well as well can we use the w okay you can move normally as well it's not very quick though the movement but uh, I don't know if we can customize that or not on these options, but this looks very cool. Obviously, these two options right here looks like it's going to be like an undo or forward. Is am I right? Am I right on that? I'm not hundred percent sure. Um, but yeah, I'm guessing this is undo and redo. This is to change the grid. I'm pretty sure. So it gets rid of the grid, and then puts an, a new grid. Is that a new grid? and then there's a smaller grid okay for the smaller units just to be more precise i'm pretty sure all right so there's two different grids i'm pretty sure yeah there's two different grids um this is like the one unit one and the other one is i don't know it's like four four units i'm guessing each each square but yeah that's really cool the next is i think this is this is going to okay this increases the grid and it heightens the grid i mean so yeah you i'm guessing this is just so you can use the build mode and um use it in higher places so you guys can i guess just like place it in mid-air so it's easy and more precise so obviously you can't do that if it's flat on the ground you will be very limited to the ground so this you can increase it up and use the build mode hmm it looks like i by accidentally selected a car well two cars and i can't unselect them which is kind of weird i keep pressing cancel and it just keeps it just is selected i don't know what's going on i don't know if that's a bug or not because i just can't unselect for some reason but anyway we'll just carry on with the rest of the stuff so i'm guessing this is 
a copy tool i could be wrong just by looking at the logo i feel like this is a copy tool but we've got nothing to copy here unless we can copy items which i don't think we can obviously i'm guessing this is for blueprints so let's place a couple blueprints and see if it is copy so what we're going to do is go on to build yo it's literally just like build mode in um blocksburg i think it used the same principle in build mode i think the movement and uh, the viewing and everything so if you're very skilled and very good at blocksburg then obviously you will have a lot of experience using this in lumber tycoon 2 all right build and then let's just go to walls and uh, okay interesting smooth wall do i not have any blueprints i don't think i have blueprints that's probably why oh wait i do never mind okay so let's just place a few around this is very good look how easy it is damn that's very easy we can be so precise as well and i'm pretty sure there's also rotating blueprints so i'm guessing it's r yeah it is look okay wait can you actually place it like this Yo, you can. All right. Not bad. That's pretty cool. Is there tilt? I'm guessing there's tilt as well. Yo, these are un this is very weird blueprints. You can never see stuff like this. Yeah, I didn't even know you could do it like this. All right. That's pretty cool. And then there's a Y for circling it around. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I don't know how to reset it though. I'm pretty sure there's a key bind option or somewhere around here. There must be. All right. Anyway, after that, let's just try this out. So let's press this. Let's draw. Oh um is it wait what's uh yeah like i said guys i've never used this build mode before i'm learning as you guys are watching so yeah i don't quite know what this one is i'm guessing it's copy but i just don't know how it exactly works i can't lie to you boys i don't know what this home button is for uh, nothing's happening when i press it but this next logo right here this will change uh the day basically so yeah as you can see we've put always day on um the next is always night i'm pretty sure um let's just wait for the transition there we go the transition is very cool i can't lie um the next i'm pretty sure is just normal this is the normal world weather and underneath guys if you press this this will give you the option to completely delete and erase your plot if you want to do it then you can if you don't want to do it obviously press no oh look at that you can customize your sawmill and stuff as well yo that's sick so yeah everything in your plot you can customize i don't know if you can do it with items i could be wrong no you can't do it with it oh wait you can Yo, that's so sick. Maybe with wood? Can you do it with wood? You can't do it with wood, guys. But you guys can do it with items, it seems. Yeah. Okay, so maybe in the next update, they can add um, wood support as well. And I'm pretty sure we checked out build already. You can just build anything on here. All the blueprints you can build. So wedges, floors, whatever you guys can build. Decorate, let's see that. And decorate, I'm pretty sure it's just items. So yeah, in box cars, I'm pretty sure it's just going to be cars um links logic is going to be wires levers and stuff like that so i'm pretty sure it's like an auto buy and bought you can auto place as well so for example let's try it out let's go to links logic let's get a lever or lever however you want to pronounce it and let's zoom in so we can whoa it glitched yo does this glitch out my stuff that's very weird but it is what it is um let's just zoom in so we can be more precise and uh, let's place it here and look at that it automatically buys and it plays it for you that's so sick next is inventory what is that it doesn't open so i don't know if this is being worked on or it just doesn't work if it's bugged or whatever but this doesn't work currently and then underneath on the right section right here guys there's also a close out button which will close out build mode and get back to your normal um humanoid character there's also a delete which means you guys can turn this on it will highlight in blue and then you can delete whatever you pick so i can delete items blueprints i'm pretty sure trucks as well yeah i can anything on this plot i can except from wood they need to add wood support this little thing i don't know what this is because i press on it and nothing's coming um coming yeah it's just not working nothing's happening once i press on it, it's not even highlighting same with this paint looking logo as well it's not highlighting and nothing's showing up i'm guessing this is for like the paint tool type of thing and this is i have no idea what this is so yeah i'm pretty sure i reviewed everything on build mode for bark right now 
I could have missed some stuff out, which if I did, I do apologize. Like I said, I've never used this build mode before. And this is kind of like my first experience, my first reaction to it. And I am very impressed. Huge shout out to Applebee for creating this. And obviously huge shout out to Alex as well um, for the idea. But yeah, I guess that's pretty much it for build mode. Let's close it out and see how it is. All right, it just goes back to your human mode. There's a cool little animation. Yeah, that's pretty much it for the review for build mode in Park GUI version 8.4. And yeah, that's pretty much it from me in today's video, guys. Daily uploads from now on, hopefully, fingers crossed. So make sure to subscribe with that post notification turn on. And also make sure to smash the like button on today's video, which shows me that you enjoyed this video or if it helped you in any way possible and yeah that's pretty much it from me in today's video guys thank you so much for watching like subscribe and peace